Hey everybody, this is Wendy Purdy with uh, Space Force News Today. I'm here at the Broadmoor Resort at the Space Symposium. I uh, thought I'd give you a little tour of the room in case you're ever out here in Colorado Springs for whatever reason, thinking about staying here. Um, start here in the, in the foyer. And of course, uh, these little things are becoming more standard these days. We can push the button. Privacy, but, please, privacy, please. All right. right privacy for housekeeping um pretty cool there's also a doorbell i'm not going to go out and ring it there's a hospitality suite across the way people coming in and out they might think i'm crazy ringing my old doorbell and talking about it so over here got some nice nice art got the coffee the water um keurig standard keurig with the pods even have a little corkscrew if you want to bring a bottle of wine or something up here down here nice little cabinet you can keep some snacks small mini fridge someone in your party has a diet coke addiction you know you can swing by the store pick some up before you come here and have to pay ten dollars a pop for one of those little bottles okay let's check out the closet Light comes on when you open the door. Of course, I went through and turned on all the lights in the room that I could before we started. So we didn't have to do it along the way. Um, nice, nice big closet. Can get a lot of clothes. Got your iron, gotta look sharp. Lots of space on the floor to chunk your shoes down. And uh, some nice Broadmoor robes. And the closet goes way back here. So you might have to, uh, rent a small child from somebody if you didn't bring one of your own to go retrieve the ironing board if you need it or any clothes you hang back there but anyway it's a good closet lots of hangers which is nice so we have two people staying here so we've pretty much used them all up i'm going to finish the entryway before we head into the into the bathroom all right so over here we have a nice little dressing table area Somebody could sit here to do their makeup hair, um, you know, so you're not hogging up the whole bathroom for the whole morning. Uh, this is really a nice touch. We have some complimentary Broadmoor luggage tags. That's sweet. That's really sweet. Good lighting. Now, and then you got a mirror over here, full-size mirror, which is nice because, you know, if you're going to do your Colorado cosplay. Maybe you're going to, I don't know, dress up like a cowboy or a miner or a weed dealer or something. You know, you can you can check this side. You can check this side. You can check this side again. Very handy. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Got nice big double doors into the bathroom. This bathroom is massive. Okay, so you walk in, got a nice big light and mirror. Okay, so the sliding panel is crazy. It's got four lights on it, so I'll turn them off so you can see what they do. This is my favorite one because look, this just turns on a very little bit of a light there in the mirror. This is great to use for a night light so you don't have to come in and blaze the whole place up with light when you go into the bathroom but anyway i'll turn the rest back on got the mirror light over sink lights and then that one did this nice uh nice uh, crystal chandelier up here okay you got your double sinks which are nice you've got you got one small drawer in the thing which i don't know Seems, seems kind of like not much for such a big bathroom, but there's a shelf down here where you could put in your room to store your bags or whatnot, so I guess it's all right. Um, another makeup mirror. So that way, if you have two teenage girls with you, like in our family, one can hog up this mirror, one can hog up that mirror. You know, maybe we can get half of the hogging time there. Uh, oh, you probably saw when I opened this door, there's a TV remote. These are, these are becoming popular as well. The uh, 
the old TV in the mirror thing. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to come on. And these these guys were uh, dissecting the national championship game. We know uh, Eric is very happy that the Kansas Jayhawks won, so I guess we're happy for him. Turn that back off. Oh wait, there's a different button for the off. All right. Over here, okay. We'll talk about this when we get to the other side because uh, I don't know. It seems kind of strange to me, but anyway, we'll talk about that over there. You've got a nice big tub, okay? Obligatory uh, cards about what to do with your towels if you want them washed or not. I like this, these little handles here. You can get down in there and you can't get back out. Those will help you uh, you know, get a little upper body workout there, pushing yourself out of the tub. The shower is nice. The only problem is this door when you open it. I mean, it seems like it's plenty big to get in, but this bar that comes out right here makes it a little, uh, makes it a little sporty. You kind of have to go sideways to get in, but once you're in, it's plenty big. Nice little shelf, has the bench seat, that's awesome. Got your uh, in the wall shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all the standard. I uh, forgot to mention over here. I mean, they got everything, everything you need. Got face soap, hand soap, lotion, which you need here because it's so friggin' dry. Got mouthwash, Q-tips, all the good stuff. Okay, and of course, now what you've all been waiting for, the toilet room. Do we have toilet art? Let's see. Ta-da! Yes, we do. Oh, it's kind of a glare. It's hard to see it. It's like a little river scene. It's nice. All right, let's come on out of the bathroom. And now into the main room. As you can see, the room is really, really nice size. But let's look at all the features. Now, as you can guess, the Broadmoor may cater to some folks who may be a little bit, bit particular, a little bit set in their ways, want things just so. So just be aware that here's the thermostat. When you push this button, it goes up in half degree increments. So if you're walking over here like, oh, I'm just gonna knock this down a couple of degrees, you gotta push it four times instead of two, all right? I hope that I am never that particular in my life, but to each their own. And you know, there may be some time when I want it to be 70 point. Oh, I'm going down again. 70.5 instead of just 70, who knows? Anyway, let's put it back there. Okay, let's talk about this thing. This is strange. I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of this is into the bathroom. Okay, because really, from anywhere you would be, to look, you wouldn't ever be anywhere just in this bathroom where you'd want that open to see the view. You can't see it down in the tub. You can't see it around the shower. I mean, I'm not going to stand in the middle of the bathroom just staring out the... It's strange to me. I don't know. Is somebody supposed to be serving drinks from the bathtub if you're having a party in here? And then, and then this gets me, okay? So to close it, the lock is on this side. It's in the side of the main room. See? That is bizarre, all right? Because heaven forbid somebody in the bathroom wants to peek at somebody in the main room. I don't know. It's strange, but anyway, I just keep that locked. If I were you, I'm not gonna fiddle with it now. Can't do it while I'm holding the phone. All right, got your got your desk side. I'm sorry, bedside tables. Got got some cool lamps. Although these, the first thing I thought of when I saw this right here, it's like a lamprey attached to a fish. I was like, huh, a lamprey? Get it? Oh, well. Too, too much old people humor. Okay, got nice charging port, got your phone, notepad. 
drawer, nice big drawer, the under thing, nice big space down there. Okay. And then of course, same thing on the other side. We won't, we won't bother with that one. Got a nice dresser drawer. I'm not going to open all those drawers or dresser drawers. Everybody knows what a dresser drawer looks like. Got your TV. Okay. Got the cool, I don't know what you call this, uh, valet. You know, this is what took the place of the real valets, I guess. This is like that thing in Beauty and the Beast that was grooming the beast, you know, it, when it was alive or whatever. So anyway, you can use that if you need to spiffy up your outfit. Got a good desk here, nice and big, you know, in case anybody in your party is needing to operate mission control while they're here. Um, I haven't even opened the store. I don't know what's in there, nothing. But good place to put things. Uh, extra wires or whatnot, you know, in case the astronauts call down Houston, we have a problem because I think all the computers for Mission Control are here. Got an extra chair. Um, got a nice little, little seating area over here. Oh yeah, some more art. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so here's a little history for you. This is the Broadmoor many, many years ago. So the original Broadmoor is kind of that building you see there in the picture. The building we're in right now is actually on that empty land in this picture to the right of the lake, kind of between the lake and the, where those mountains start. So Broadmoor's been here a long time. Um, it's definitely, definitely grown and become a premier conference center for many events. So. You just need to have a little bit of history in the room and, and see how it how it used to be. All right, we'll come over here. And now you can see what that building in the picture looks like today. Oh, I'm not gonna worry about opening that. We've got double doors here we can open. And we're looking out on that lake. It's a beautiful view. It's a beautiful day in Colorado Springs. There's the main building that you just saw in the painting. As you can see, it's built up. There's now a golf course, all sorts of amenities, spa, fitness center. All right. Thanks for watching. Bum, bum, bum.